Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. This is just a general reading for all horoscope signs. I will be using a tarot card, my Lenormand cards, and my Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck. Since this is just a general message, maybe some of the messages won't apply to you. Just take what resonates, leave behind what does not. I do feel if you were called to click on this video, there's going to be at least one or two messages here that will be meaningful to you. This first deck that I am shuffling here is called the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. And let's go with this one. Wow. The King of Cups. So this is the overall energy card for the reading. The King of Cups. A really interesting card. I love it that this artist, her name is Lana Zellner. I love it that she used an eyeball in this. I love painting with eyeballs myself. The King of Cups is emotionally restrained and in complete control of himself. He does not let his feelings get the better of him. Nonetheless, he does have a tender heart. This is a time period when you should practice emotional control Open your heart and show compassion to those around you, but don't let your feelings sway you from maintaining a healthy balance in your life. Wow, what a great message. That is really, I really like that. Okay, so let's get on to it with the Lenormand cards now. Let me move some stuff around here. Um, I'm going to pick... From first, the Pagan Lenormand deck. Lenormand cards generally have about 36 cards in a standard deck, so there's fewer to work with. I do really enjoy reading with Lenormand cards to see what kind of messages are coming through. So the first card is the Child, and we have the Stork and the Bear. We've got the gentleman, the coffin, and the stars. So, the child talks about a time period when something is brand new, something that is almost innocent and playful. And as you can see there in the card, there's a child that's playing in a field of like wildflowers and grasses there. This is kind of a, you know, a nudge from the universe that you could consider getting out into nature more like you did when you were a child and reconnecting with earth energies. That is an essential component to keeping balance in your life, just like the balance that was described in that very first card. The stork is about a time period of new beginnings, it's a new season, it's a new um, rebirth, and that energy goes perfectly with the coffin. The coffin is not about a literal death, it is just about the end of a phase and the end of a cycle and a big shift into something new. So these are both big transformative energy cards. The bear is an energy card about, a Lenormand card about very strong energies, very protective energies. The strength can almost be overwhelming. Um, controlling yourself with the emotions in the beginning, this might be, you know, be strong, stay proud, and do your best to not let things get out of control. Um, this is also like a mama bear protective energy. The stars card, I just love this card. It's about your biggest wishes and hopes and dreams. And as you can see, the people there that are laying down in that field, they are connecting with the earth again. They are earthing, they are getting very grounded. They are looking up at the stars like they did when they were kids. And they are just laying there, being in the moment, soaking it all in. I think that's absolutely delightful. If you haven't done it lately, maybe you should consider it, you know. Um, 
this card is definitely about dreaming and realizing that you are being guided by the divine. You are being guided to the path of your biggest hopes, wishes, and dreams. Now, the gentleman card in this deck is, it could be about you or a gentleman in your life. And the focus of the gentleman, normally I would say it's this card over here, but he's really kind of looking towards the camera. So I'm going to pick one more from this deck to see what his focus is. And his focus is something that's devious in nature, something that's about deception, something that is clingy and suffocating. Um, so if this resonates with you, then you understand what that means. Um, it may be involving a woman that is not being honest. Um, I don't know. Let's see what else. What, what is another thing that is the focus of the gentleman in the reading? Maybe there's something devious that's distracting him from this new beginning. Okay, we get the, the bear again. So I like this rendition of the bear because this bear is showing great emotional strength and is emerging from that icy water and is climbing up onto land. So I feel like this, combined with that snake that came out that was a bit worrisome, I think this is an indication that no matter what is going on with the snake card, you have the strength and the power. If it's you or a gentleman in your life, that person has the power to overcome it and get past it because there's movement here towards this new beginning. So I'm going to pick a card now for that coffin card. And we get the moon. The moon can be about your dream time, paying attention to the dream time. The moon is also about your intuition and psychic abilities, working on enhancing and trusting in those abilities. The moon can also be about love and romance. It's um, just however it kind of resonates with you. I'm going to pick a card for the stars. And we get the clouds. So the clouds can be about a time period of confusion and uncertainty and even doubt. So to me, this says, along with the stars card, that you're maybe you're not sure exactly what it is that you want this next big phase of your life to be ushering in. Maybe you've forgotten about your dreams. You've put them on hold. Maybe you need to, uh, you know, just take the time to, to really think about what all those things mean to you. That's the indication of the child card is to remember the, your, your childlike innocence and being playful and having fun. Um, let's pick another card now. So the second deck was the Gilded Reverie. The first deck was the Pagan Lenormand. Now this is the Fairy Tale Lenormand deck. It's one of my newer ones. And okay. So we got the house. There may be a dream of owning a house and you're concerned or confused about how to get that dream to happen. At the very least, the house represents your sense of st security and stability and your sanctuary. And look, there's the child card again. This is definitely a reminder to think back what it was like in the simpler days when things were fresh and new. And it's also an indication that the beginning of something new is the child. Um, the child is, is generally a positive card. It's It can be about learning something new on your journey or being aware and looking for something new coming into your life. That's interesting. I like it. Um, I'm going to pick a card for the stork in the upper section of the reading. The new season. There's a lot of newness in this reading, so I think it's, uh, it's positive. It's optimistic. Let's make it this one. We get the coffin again. 
So I think uh, there's a lot of big transformations going on. Of course, there's always transformation, but it's a constant need to strive for balance. This is the fairy tale uh, coffin card that looks kind of reminiscent of Snow White. This is an indication that there may have been a painful ending, but this is the transformation, as I was mentioning earlier. It's a transition into a new beginning. Um, I'm going to pick a card now for those of you that are looking for guidance regarding love. And we got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. That's good. Let's pick one more. Okay. <laughs> it says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. That's beautiful. Now I'm going to pick a card from my Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck just to give us a nice little send-off message here. There's definitely a lot of big, powerful changes coming for you. You have the strength with the bear coming up twice to make it through. I mean, really, honestly, how, how awesome is that? We got the child card twice. We got the bear twice. And we got the coffin card twice. That's just a, a delightful confirmation and synchronicity from spirit. That these meaning, you know, the messages and the meanings here are, are meaningful. And they want to make sure you're hearing them loud and clear. Okay, we got the love tree. This is a very short and sweet little poem that I wrote for the love tree. And um, let me read it to you. Plant a seed of love like you would plant a tree. It is a way to set your heart free. Allow it to grow and water it each day. Love fills your heart when you give it away. I like it with this reading, especially since we used the fairy tale element here with these cards. This is a, a very simple concept that even a child can understand. You plant seeds of love, you water it each day. And um, I think that's just a really nice way to end the reading. I am happy you joined me here. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you hit the, the little wiggly bell there, on the uh, YouTube page, you will get email notifications about when I add a new video to the channel. And I would like to say, I wish you peace. I wish you blessings. I wish you love. Be well.